So today we are making a rat photo shoot area. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, uh, we thought it'd be pretty fun. So what I did was I took a cardboard box from Home Depot, cut off one of the faces, and then taped white paper to the outsides. So these are just pieces of standard printer paper next to each other, uh, taped. While you can see the lines here uh, in some post-production, those will be pretty easy to get rid of. Uh, we have our fleece liner that we already use for them, dollar store sort of paper confetti sort of stuff, and then also these two uh, little pumpkins. It's autumn themed, Halloween themed, and these were just a dollar from Target. We want to put them up on this box area so they don't just run away because they are pretty easily distracted as they are babies. We also made these. We're not going to use these because they're not quite trained enough to just put them on and stay on, but we thought they'd be fun. Maybe later. I'm choosing to use my Nikon D5100 for this with a 35 millimeter lens. What's gonna be pretty important is that we have a pretty open aperture uh, so we can get in as much light as possible without having any overhead lighting or directional lighting that's too harsh on the rat's eyes. My primary shots are gonna be around one over 180, aperture of F 3.3 and an ISO of 1000. Some of these might come out looking a little bit dark, but we will brighten those up in post. And we need a quick enough shutter speed because the rats are pretty hectic. So once we actually put the rats in the play area, there were a few things that we found pretty helpful. One is that we scattered treats everywhere just to keep them calm and happy and have them have something to look forward to. Next, just be patient. They're gonna run around and do whatever they'd like to do. So have your camera ready, have your finger on the shutter, and just be ready to take the picture when they're in a pose that you find particularly cute. I took over 500 photos during this photo shoot and the photo shoot only lasted like 10 to 15 minutes. Most of the pictures that you take are going to be completely unusable because they're gonna be running around or shaking or just being little quick rats, but if you get enough photos, I'm sure you'll have some that you like. If you have someone with you, we actually came up with a tactic that worked really well. So we use yogurt in a syringe to give treats a lot of the times. The syringe is really great because it holds a lot of yogurt. You can squeeze a little bit of it out and just have them go for it. You also don't get it messy on your fingers and stuff. So if you have yogurt in a syringe, what we did was we fed the rat some yogurt and then alerted the other person when we were gonna pull the yogurt away. Right when you pull the yogurt away, you realize that the rats are actually gonna be focused on where the yogurt was, and if you were trying to set up a particular photo, that's how we did it. Plus, you get the added benefit of having a whole bunch of funny pictures of you feeding your rats yogurt. So that's how we took all the photos and set up the photo space, but as I mentioned before, there's some weird nuances with the way that we set up the photo space. One, they're all pretty dark, because once again, we didn't wanna hurt the rats' eyes, so all I did was dehaze these in Lightroom brighten the shadows, enhance the exposure. Secondly, I used the brush removal tool or the eraser tool to get rid of the creases in the paper that we had. Because I wanted to keep this a cheap and budget friendly photo box, I knew that I could just come in and post and get rid of those creases and lines so we could get that professional effect without having to pay professional money. Then I selected the color of the paper, desaturated that to make it a little bit more white, boosted its luminance, cropped the photo, and then bam, you've got a pretty good looking rat photo. Looking at the original compared to the final product, it looks really great, and it looks like a studio shot of some pet rats. Here's some of the rest of the photos from our photo shoot. I hope you found this video helpful in some way. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you end up taking photos of your rats like this or following this tutorial, let me know. I'd love to see your rat photos.